All right, guys, welcome to Fish and Lake Country. Hey, we're making the dowsel color. I'm using a violet highlight powder. All right. Now, I went on to put that in because I got to break up all the little bubbles. It's a powder. You got to stir it in, and it takes a little bit. So I got a head start on y'all. Now, that's why I've done that. Now, I'm adding flake to it. There's so many colors in this that I don't need to put a bunch of every one of them. All right, there's gold, silver. I pre-opened these, so save some time. Blue. All right, this is red. Now, this, the red is 008. Everything else is 015. So, except for the red and the black. And the black, I'm just putting up just a few in it, just enough to help give it some body. Okay, now, I'm going to stir those in. That's why I call it Dazzle. Got a lot of colors in it. Looks like something a kid would make and put on their clothes. They was gonna make a star for themselves, put on the clothes. All right. As y'all can see that. I'm kind of backhanded here. It's got a lot of, a lot of color to it. And when I mix like this, I'll stop and look at it. It's gotta be reheated before I shoot it anyway. And I'm looking at it to see if I got the right amount of dials I want to it. Uh, I might need to add just a touch more blue and purple. Alright. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna reheat that. I think it ought to have just a touch of blue, more blue in it, so I just, that was that. And I'm gonna add just a let's cover the silver up here while I got them open. I'm gonna add just a touch of purple to it. I mean guys, I'm just taking putting this a little bit on this spoon. Okay. Now Make sure I get the right lids on it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll work on that while it's reheating. It's going to cool off now. If y'all hear a noise, it's, it's storming, okay? All right, I'm going to reheat this. It's done got thick on me. Let me get this reheated and get it ready to shoot, and I'll cut y'all back on. All right, guys. Pull it back out of the microwave. Okay. It's just 3.30. That's probably what I want. Now, I'm going to shoot the bugs while I'm doing this. Should chuck up a, sucked up a half a cup, didn't I? Cup don't go far. Alright. Alright. Now, so this don't cool off when we too fast, I'll put it back in the microwave. Alright, we're going to let these cool off, we're going to open them. Raining now, if y'all can hear it beating on my tin roof. I got tin roof in my garage and it's storming. All right, so we get this done. This is the this is the cricket. Now you can see that what that violet highlight does. See that color on it? Yep. See all them flaking? That's why I call it dazzle. Red, blue. Yep, it's pretty in it. Purple. See it's sparkly. Of course, it's a you can see through it. Uh, it's just just a highlight, but it's got all those sparkle, all that glitter. All right, guys, let me show you the bug real fast. Now we're doing we're still doing one through four hundred. There's the bug. We're still doing one through four hundred. Y'all put your number down. One number per subscriber, two per household. Both of you need to be subscribed if you could do that. On Wednesday nights, I'll do a random number draw to see who wins. If you win, guys, skip a couple weeks, okay? Skip at least two weeks if you win. All right, give up some else a chance. I'll load that video on Thursdays, all right? Y'all watch the video after this. Cra uh, the crappy loved it. I caught a bunch. I, I, I done sat down and uh, loaded the bit, loaded, I done the fishing this morning. I sit down and loaded it. I can't use all the clips I got. I, got so, I caught so many fish. So I'll cut through it, do the best I can. Try to make y'all a video out of this. Appreciate y'all guys. Dennis, Fish Lake Country. Hope you enjoy the video. Bam. I lost it. I lost the first crappy I hooked, so I'm going to net this one. <laughs> Sometimes when you pick them up, that's a good way to lose them. <laughs> All right, buddy.
He's tell me he's not a fighter. Good gosh. I don't know if the bait came out. Yeah, it did. I don't see. It's gone, but the bait came out of his mouth and fell down in his mouth, brother. Because they got netted him. That's a nice fish, guys. Look at that. Oops. Well, I'm just not doing good at all this morning, guys. It's dazzle color and the cricket, guys, is what I'm fishing. Let's see if we can catch four or five on it. There you go. Uh, be honest with you, I tried to, y'all can see it's a wipeout color on. Yesterday I was fishing cricket. I made a short on the cricket yesterday, and I was using the wipeout color, and they ate it up. Because uh, mayflies are hatching, okay? This morning, they only bumped the uh, wipeout color. So I thought, well, let's try something, draw their attention a little bit. So I went to the dazzle. Bam, found another one. Oh, this small one. Oops. <laughs> well, that's the second one I've lost today picking them up. All right, guys. I done lost two picking them up. I don't know if I'll leave it in the, leave it in the video or not. <laughs> He's not very big, but when you pick them up, you take a chance. I'm not scared to boat flip them with two-pound test. I just, the hook comes out sometimes. Unless they're big ones, I'll net them. He's about... He's probably trying, you know, pushing 10. I say trying to be 10. He's pushing 10. He's probably nine and a half, nine and five eighths. I'm loving guys. I tell you, they're hard to get to. That's the problem I'm having. When that sun comes up, it was cloudy. So, so much for that and that one, wasn't it? I'm just trying to help him a little bit. I'm just having a terrible time this morning. <laughs> Woo. He's about the same size. He's about, about 10 inches. All right, guys, I switched docks. Bam. First cast. They were very hard to get to on that dock. They were back at the end of that boat slip, and and then then they was back under it. I caught a couple from the side, and I had to really skip. Now, this, this uh, cricket does not skip the best. It skips okay. That's not why I'm. That's why, not why I'm using it today. The reason I'm using it, y'all can't see. In these spider webs, you see these mayflies. Uh, I caught one yesterday. He landed on my death finder. Y'all have mayflies in your state? Right here now, they're hatching at night. They're everywhere around any lights. They got big wings, little skinny body. Don't know what. Don't know where they come from. Uh, don't know what they specialize. I mean, you know, kind of eggs or something they come from, I reckon. You can hear these uh, cicadas up in the trees. But these these have, uh, I'm looking for one on the water, little wings on them. But they're hanging in the, you see some hanging from right there in that, why? Yeah, that's why I'm using a cricket this morning. Because it looks like a bug. And if I can get it back under there to them. Uh, the, the fish here on these docks in the summertime, are uh, getting way back in the shady part. The bigger the dock, the bigger the platform it has above us. This one has that big platform above it. That's the docks you want to look at. Just ride down the lake, look for the docks that have a lot of shade and need to be in deep water. You see right here, I'm in 15 foot. So, and the fish are, it's 21 foot to front. The fish start about 31, 32 foot. So they're 10 feet back under there. And if you don't get it, back under there to them they will not hit it they won't come out very far now you can suck them a few feet you get back a two or three feet from it sometimes you want to suck her off the school and come after it but uh, if you don't get it pretty close to them where they can see it check it out it ain't gonna happen I had one come off the school that time I can see right here he's gonna quit he stopped on that post okay I need to get this to touch closer I need to be about three foot closer and I need to be forward this way so I can hit that opening. Get this one out. All right. Guys, it took me about three casts to get it back here to them. If I fell short of them, I could see on my live scope, I was watching them to see what they would, how they would, would uh, react. If I was short of them, a couple feet, one might pull out like he's going to get it, then he'd go back to the school. It's like, nah, the rest of y'all didn't follow. I, <laughs> you ever watch two dogs chase a car? One of them will start barking and running after, and he looked back at the other dog. See if he's going to chase it too. If the other dog just stands there, he'll turn and go back. That's, 
fish are the same way. One, two ran out there and like, I'm gonna get it. And they stopped, hesitated, then went back. So for me to get bit, I have gotta get it back or to them. And it's not an easy place to get back or to. Wind's getting up some, you see the chop on the water? Feels good to me. But what happens? I hit too early. I say it's not easy. There it goes. Uh, you gotta hit the water about about to level with the front of the dock. You can be out a little bit too far. If you get too far, it goes up and hits the dock. That's what like that last one did. It goes up too soon. Even underneath it, you can hear it go up and hit the dock if you get uh, hit too soon. Then you need to let it sink. Now I don't see my bait. You see the fish right here. They're 35 feet. In front of the dock is about 21, 22. All right, I don't see my bait, nothing happens. I reel it in and I throw again. And it takes me, like I say, I don't get back far enough every cast, not with this bait. Now I can take a tap pole, full size, excuse me, full size tap pole. I'm gonna go to a little heavier weight. This has got a 1 16th on it, see if it makes a difference. Cause we're getting that chop on the water. I could go to a tap pole, tap pole junior, Tweety Bird, even LC Shad skips good, and I could get it on back there. All right, guys, it took about five or six that time to get it back to them. They keep following it, and uh, finally I get it back there far enough and fell pretty close to them, and probably a foot from them, it looked like. So I'm watching my live scope a little bit because I'm trying to see how they react to it. And once I get done that, they come on after it. He's about nine and a half. So this color has a purple tint, it's a violet powder. It's not a solid color, it's a highlight. So it gives it a purple, and I roll it, you see the purple tint? But it's got blue and gold and purple flake in it, all right? Yeah, it's really pretty in it. That's why I call it Dazzle. Um, and I took that same color and made an LC shad with a, with a pearl belly. And man, I nailed them with that. I don't know which video y'all gonna see first. So I'm gonna add that to the, to, to the site. This color back with a pearl belly worked really good. I gave some to a local uh, crappy fisherman pro. I fished a lot of crappy tournaments, a lot of crappy tournaments. <laughs> and I uh, gave him about six or seven in a bag. He said, Just look at us, what you think? Let me know something. He rolled him around in his hand. He went, oh, I like these. <laughs> Bam. All right, guys, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. There's still some here. But we're gonna go ahead and hit a different dock and just see if we can catch a few from a couple do uh, other docks. That's a baby there. We don't catch them all on the, off the same dock, do we? Nah. <laughs> hey, the area I'm in, I know quite a few docks in this area within, within a mile, mile and a half. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? A big fish just broke behind me. <laughs> This is why I had this rigged up. This is one of my four inch swim baits. All right. Yeah, I'm at all colors, guys. I had four different colors rigged up. I even had a lime made color rigged up back there. But that's why I keep one rigged up a lot of times in the summertime. If you get to where fish are breaking, you can throw it out there amongst those fish like that and just reel that thing back like you would a buzz bait or uh, a grub. Me, old, you older fellas, we used to throw three and four inch grubs like that. Then we're going to sit on a jig head. But the way I got this weedless, I can throw it through a treetop with this uh, kill weighted hook like that. I can throw it through a treetop in the water. I can throw it through that grass. But it's a good search bait when the bass are chasing shad and stuff. And that's what I was doing this morning on the river, trying to catch a striper. Uh, and uh, just get that on film. I've caught a lot doing that. I just didn't get bit this morning. All right, guys. Tell me a few. Tell me a few casts here to catch one. Uh, it's a few here. It's not many here as it usually is. And the few that are here, it's a couple on the front or way back under there. Huh? And like I said, this cricket is not a great skipping bait. It's gonna be better if they're at the front of the dock. You can get it back about six, eight feet. That's about it. He's about ten inches. But. It's a good bait when they're chasing bugs and doing stuff on the water because it's a creature bait, right? So I can show you where they're at. There ain't many here. Not getting a good reading. Let me get a little more color to it here. All right, now, not getting a good reading today. You see right here, there's some trash right here too. Piece. It's a couple right there. Some of that's 
little bit of brush he put down. You see some of them way back here. That's 35, 40 feet. In front of the dock is about 18. Yeah, I, see, I can't, I can't get to them. It'd be tough to get to if something skips easy. But so we got to go for the couples on the front here. Those back there are safe. <laughs> They're back in there. They're back in there by that picnic table. I go to the front. But see the wind's blowing straight toward the dock. So it'll keep blowing my boat into it. So it's gonna be a tough place to fish today. I might have to go on to another dock here in a minute. Okay, guys. Next cast. A couple on the front. I showed you. They got right. They got all after it. So they're all about the same size. Gotcha. He's about eight and three quarters. All right. Let's see if I catch a couple more here. I'm going to a different dock. Got one that time. He's just throwing a fit too. <laughs> you done? Oh, he's a decent one. Come on. <laughs> Come here. That's a decent fish, guys. He's over 10, probably. It's bigger than I've caught here, I think. Again, he, they're not too far back under there because I can't get far back under there. That's the that's the color. See, so this uh, might look pinkish in the camera, but it's lavender. The color's called lavender. And, uh, um, excuse me, the color's called violet. <laughs> I said lavender. The color's called violet, which is a purplish, right? It gives it a so it's just a highlight powder that gives it a uh, color. You can see through it. The flakes, what gives it the body. But uh, our water's pretty clear. I lost it right there. I can see it right there. I can still make it out. That's that two foot, maybe one, two, it's about two and a half foot. I can still see it. So we're about two and a half foot visibility. You don't have to have crystal clear water for something like this, guys. They can see it. I promise you. They can see it. I watch them on the live scope sometimes. It can be four foot from them, and you'll see them move a little bit over toward it, look at it, and go back. You know, they might have went out and grab it, but they, they know it's in the area. There's a couple nice ones at 35 feet. But I'll, whew, I'm going to try again. I don't think I'll ever get some. I got some, hey, I got a couple tadpoles laying right there. I might put one of those on and see if I can get back at two of those. Bam, got another one. I'm getting a bite every cast guys I'm gonna catch one every cast but they're hitting it pulling it running it I see my line go sideways that time now we can feel the bike so we got some wind going now but I see my line take off they uh they like it they really like it all right guys I am gonna go to another dock too if I don't catch another one <laughs> then hey so be it Bam. Another decent one. Yeah, that's a he's probably right at ten. I'm fighting the wind, guys. Move to another dock. See the wind's getting up all the time. It feels good though. <laughs> We've been having thunderstorms in the evenings a lot the last two weeks, and they're calling for it all the way through Sunday. Bam. Oh, guys, finally, I just got into the front. So the wind's gotten up enough that my spot lock it, it holds better. It does a better job when the, when it's got a little current or wind direction. Huh. That's why I net them, guys. It will do a better job. You come off in the net. Get a hold of him. There you go. That's a decent fish there, guys. He's a little bit over 10, probably. I keep saying I'm going to keep a couple to eat. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Bam, next cast. Hey, they like the old cricket. Crickets are good bait. Y'all never tried it? Uh, I sell a good many. I mean, they go out. Actually, I had an order go out this morning. Uh, I didn't have but one order yesterday. And I had an order go out this morning. And it was all bugs. I think it was three packs of bugs. Uh, the little bugs 
Well, if that, just catch them. I can't skip a bug at all. That's why some of you are like, why aren't you fishing a bug? You can't skip a bug at all, guys. It ain't going to happen. Not enough body there at all. You're going to have to be fishing brush piles outside of docks. This, this uh, uh, cricket, I can skip it, but it's not easy to skip. But anyway, this helps me right here being in the... Uh, so he went on back in there a little ways. It's back about three foot, four foot. I can skip it. That's about all if I can skip it. Maybe six or eight if I get the right, uh, if I hit the water right, right in front of the dock at the right time. Like I say, it's not the easiest skipping bait I got. That's not why I'm using it. Bam. Oh, I lost that one. Lost him. I'm using it because it's catching fish. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do here in a minute? I'm going to get y'all one of those mayflies. I see them all over this dock. I, there was one that came by the boat hall ago. He was paddling. <laughs> so I hit the water that time and it went up too soon. Let's get, let's get right behind the engine. There you go. And I caught him on my bait out of the water. And by the time I went to grab him, he took off flying. I thought he was dead. So I don't know why. I done three that way. And all three of them flew off before I had a chance to grab them. So I don't know what they're doing in the water. Maybe they lay eggs in the water. I don't know that much about them. That's your homework right there. Somebody, somebody Google mayflies. There's the first cast I have out of bite, I think. Somebody Google mayflies and uh, see why they hang around this water. Uh, are they laying eggs in the water? I, you know, I've been here all these years on this lake. I've been here 22 years on this lake. And every summer we have these hatches of them, I guess, and I've never paid that much attention to them. I just can tell you when they're hatching, some perch are easy to catch. We throw flies. My son ties flies. Bam. Oh, messed another one. Guys. Oh, and I got one on it in. Oh, what in the world was that? I hope that came on camera. It was something about three inches long. I think it was a little spot of bass. Them things are crazy, I'm going to tell you. All right, guys, that's what a mayfly looks like right there. Hey, folks, what do you think? Hey, this was the cricket I was using. Dazzle color. See those tails? You see that mayfly I showed you in that picture? He's got the little tail on the back. Hey, guys, I read about that may, uh, mayfly. Here's what it said. It said they only lived to be one day. One day is all they live. And it says don't be scared of them because they don't have a mouth. They can't bite you. They don't have a stinger. They swarm in the mornings. I see them swarming. They say that's the way that they um, mate in the air. Then the female flies to the water and lays eggs in the water. All right? Then after that, I reckon she gets eaten. They said most of them get eaten during that process. I'm sure. Because the crappie and the sunfish here, this mulch on them. Uh, even the white perch. You can hear them in the morning, chunk, chunk, chunk. Fish breaking around the docks. Everything's small bass. Everything's eating on them. So everything's eating good right now. This has went on for about four weeks. All right? Up north, I don't know if y'all have them. If you do, have they started uh, flying around like that? Hatching out of the water? They live in the water and hatch out of the water, evidently. So, you might want to try the cricket. Yesterday, I caught a bunch on the wipeout cricket. Today, I was using a dazzle. I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. As long as something's got those little legs. You know, I don't know how the fish see color. I don't think they see color the way we do. If it did, it wouldn't make sense, would it? All right, if y'all know, hey, if y'all know how, y'all tell me. Okay? Appreciate y'all guys fishing Lake Country. Just sharing the cricket with you because I've got it in a lot of colors. Uh, all of them works. Spark's a great one, too. Ice is the number one seller in the cricket. It's white, guys. That's it probably imitates the fry to, to the fish. But I think if it looks alive, they'll eat it. My name is Dennis, Fish Lake Country, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.